All right, so we got a lot of wet, heavy snow the other day and tree branches were cracking all over the forest. We were stuck. We couldn't get in or out of the property, so we had to go out and chop our way through and we got out. But along with it all came a great gift, a bunch of firewood. And that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to go out there, chop up a bunch of alder. Good firewood, the best, and it's free. Okay, so another project for today is uh, we got this axe head. Take a look at that. Okay, so this axe head, I'm going to tell you something about this axe head. This is an old splitting mall, okay? Well, this has got a big story to it because this is the first spitting, splitting mall that we got when we began to develop this property. And that was uh, over 20 years ago. And this thing lasted and lasted. I've never had a, a splitting mall since then that has lasted as long as this one has. You can notice this is the old style fiberglass, okay? It's not like a plasticky fiberglass. This is the actual fibers fiberglass. And that axe was just an incredible axe. I, I abused this thing so much. Finally it broke. And uh, I've been keeping the head around for a few years thinking that uh, I'm going to put a new handle on it. So uh, what I'm going to have to do here is because this fiberglass handle you can see is kind of glued or melted in there. Uh, in order to get it out, I suppose I could try pounding it out. That uh, Maybe I should just try that. But uh, other than that, I was thinking I'm just going to throw it into the wood stove when, my, uh, when Lorianne gets a big hot fire going here. We'll just throw this axe head into the fire and uh, it should just burn it right out. We're going to head over and get the truck so that we can get out on the road and get some firewood. All right, let's grab the old husky here. Actually, the old husky is in parts right now. That's uh, that's a 257 there. And she's running pretty good. We just put a new bar on her, just a 24 incher. But uh, what we got going on here is we got this old 61 Husky. She's in pieces. And that's because we got a problem with the piston. Now, I took the piston out of here, and there's actually chunks, pieces missing of the piston. I wish I had it here to show you, but it's actually uh, in the shop in town here, Canyon Cable. And the guy there, Ray, is really good. He's going to try and find me a, a piston. They don't make, like this saw is right from the 80s maybe. Maybe 1990, but maybe a little older. And uh, they don't make those anymore. Now, if you look here, I just finished, you know, rebuilding that carb. And uh, so, and you know what? Bearings are nice and tight. The connecting rod, nice and tight. No jiggling around there. Everything else on the saw is pretty good yet, except that piston. And I'm amazed that the piston started cracking apart and we had a bit of, you know, metal pieces in there from the piston that were flying around in the top and that's what seized her up. But I'll tell you something, you know, inside of this uh, cylinder wall, you'd think that it would be scarred up. But it's as smooth as a baby's butt. You know, let's get some light on there. You know, she's as smooth as the baby's butt in there. Let's just give this thing a quick edge here. And uh, I brought the rakers down using a flat file the other day, so I don't think I need to do that today. I think uh, we're just going to give it a quick touch-up. Doesn't look It doesn't look like it got too dull here. All right, real quick here. This was the road here, this is the road. You can see these trees were sticking over the road. I already got a bunch of them out of the way. Uh, but this one here, well, we're gonna hook onto that. And we're gonna hook onto that. And we're gonna give it a tug. And we're just gonna get that thing onto the road so we can cut her up. That's an alder, that's a nice size alder too.
All right. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Pinch the blade, but that's okay. I'm I'm through. I'm just gonna go give the log a tug, and that'll hopefully drop the saw right out. So uh, we threw the axe head in there. You can see it right there. And uh, the fiberglass handle is get, starting to burn. So we'll, we'll see if it burns it right out. All right, so load number two kind of cleans it up. Got two nice truck loads today. And uh, I don't know, what did that take? We started at uh, about 10.30 and now it's almost 12.30, so a couple hours to get a couple loads of firewood. Awesome. Well, the old pickup truck, she's not running too well. It's kind of coughing and sputtering there, so I'm going to have to pull her up to the shop and, uh, yeah, well, I think it's a fuel problem. Seems to be starving for fuel at idle, so. All right, so I got the uh, truck at the shop here. Take a look at the carburetor there. Took the air cleaner off. Uh, she's looking kind of dirty in there. But anyway, I'm gonna give her a spray and see what happens. You know, you just can't park it when it's broken. Things run for a long time. We've had this truck for 20 years. Let's try and Give her a start here. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take a look. Mm -hmm. Oh man, this fire is hot. It is seven times hotter than it normally is. Let's take a look here. It's red hot, this piece of iron. But you know what? It doesn't look like, it still looks like that's, uh, that hasn't burnt out yet. Look at that. It is glowing red. Wow. Look at that. But you know what? The axe handle, some of it melted, but the fiberglass, of course, didn't. Push it out with my thumb. There it is. There you go. That's the piece that was in there. And now you can see I've got the axe head ready to mount onto a new handle. That should work good. 
How's the wife? <laughs> Caught her with a mouthful. This is Lori, she's making a big pull.